Hey guys, Love here and I'm now at Privado Hotel. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of ads online about this hotel and it made me feel curious because the hotel looks like new and impressive on the ads. Hello, it's ads of course. However, today I'm going to show you how does the room looks like in real life and at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what I think about this hotel and I'm going to give it a score to know if it really is impressive. executive king room however the king is not available that's why the front desk have created our room or my room to a superior room complimentary so from where I am standing at this is a desk area you have your chair your lamp it also has a drawer where you can put your stuff your phone and actually it could also be your vanity because you have your universal um, socket or plug your mirror definitely not a good lighting but it can serve your purpose your built-in hair dryer and this time let us move on to our next part and you have here your fire extinguisher which is i think is necessary it's mandatory for every hotel definitely my big bag with all my stuff inside i just put it there because so you will see cabinet is pretty small so you have your in safe try to fit in your bags but if it's big then you'll just have to put it elsewhere in the room next is our complementaries which is pretty explanatory under it is the fridge I like it because it's actually black I love black and it stick to the color palette of the hotel However, I am quite not sure if this is really a fridge because it seems like it's going to heat your food up. It's not really cold and this is not complimentary. I brought all of them. It's just empty. Anyway, like what I've said earlier, the front desk has upgraded our room to a superior room which has your kitchen in. I really was happy when I knew that there is a kitchen in because I was planning to cook. So let us see. I am, but it's not lighting. There's no light, but it's working. Let's check the cabinets. There is nothing. Actually, I have already called the front desk about that. Since there are no cooking utensils or tools, then the front desk told me that since it's a complimentary upgrade, they won't be able to provide any cooking utensils, so good luck with your cooking. Maybe you could try some DIY? I don't know. I just feel like it's ridiculous because it doesn't seem like it's complimentary upgrade if you won't be provided with the same, same package, right? So, so, I don't know, just better book from the Airbnb with the complete utensils. Anyway, you have here trivia, your RCD that I advise do not touch because you might just press something that's not or shouldn't be touched. Your emergency flashlight if ever you run out of light or electricity. I hope not. And this time, let's go inside and visit our bathroom. I think it's pretty straightforward because you have your simple bathroom, 
color palette is actually nice as well. It's green, there's no leak, and there's your hot and cold shower, your sink, your toilet with your bidet, just very important, and your towels. So based from what I see here, I think it's pretty dim. There's only one light and there's also no lights in the shower area. Well, I understand it's small, so it might cover one light, but it's kind of dark based on my preference. Anyway, let's move on now to our entertainment. So I like the TV. It is quite small compared to the other hotel televisions, but it all has a good connectivity. You have your USB, HDMI, and VGA port, so you just use whatever you need. Now is our universal socket. Actually, I think in all corners of the room, there are socket. That's a good point. And now we have our coffee table or your dining area with beside our view. So here's the window. I actually requested for it and I'm pretty happy with it because it really is a city view, which is only up to here though. And wait, what? I do not know what is that. It looks like a duct tape, which I do not know what is for, but it serves a purpose. It actually is a blackout curtain, which is I like, because I do not really like the sun that much. So, that's good. Anyway, this is your bedside. You have your drawer and your lamp and the bed. So, I do not know if you will notice, but you will, if you will come closer, or if you look closer, I think it's pretty obvious, even on the camera. The pillowcases have different color from the duvet and the sheet. It's pretty white and this one is dark. I feel like it's kind of off-white or gray. It has stains on it. For me, it's really dirty. I do not know about you, but if you are meticulous or I don't know, if you really observe cleanliness, this is something that's really, really dirty. Same for the duvet or the sheet. There are stains on sheet I do not know why and if they really changed it but there are stains next <laughs> anyway lastly this is our headboard which is pretty huge compared to other headboards that I've seen but I think they really spend much on this because it serves the purpose as a headboard as well as the accent or design for the whole room already. And it has a really nice palette and it's a good idea. So that is pretty much about the room. And next, I will be showing you the amenities of the hotel. Let us now talk about the amenities, starting with the pool and the gym. They're both at the roof deck, which is nice because you have the basic pool but it has a nice view especially during nighttime because of the city lights same with the gym it's not very spacious but it has your basic equipment so if you're gonna be working out you can just have the equipment there available and lastly they do have a resto bar called verona at the roof deck as well i am not sure though if it is a restaurant or a bar or if it's a whatever you call that but they do serve drinks and the, the ambiance is nice because it really is Italian inspired like what they have claimed and the music is also Italian or it has a it gives off a very nice ambiance to it so for the amenities I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 this time I just want to mention the breakfast buffet it's not really part of what I paid for originally for the accommodation it's not free so you just can pay for it separately and with the food it's good the menu you have a lot of choices actually but there's nothing very special about it 
However, what I just do not like about it is it took so long before the food servers were refilled with the dishes. And I believe if the manager didn't arrive, they won't do much about it. He'll just wait for a very long time. I'll move on to customer service. It's okay because they're nice and approachable, but I think it can still be improved a little. And for that, I'm going to give them a six out of 10. Lastly is the location. The hotel's location is really nice because it's accessible to the establishments and the malls in the area. There are also a lot of restaurants, not to mention. and. It's not very crowded in this place, so I would give it a score of 7 out of 10. Here's what I think about Privado Hotel, starting with the room. I like it because it's spacious. It's a superior room, like what I've said earlier, because it's a free upgrade. But I do not know for the original room which I booked, which is the Executive King room. I am not sure if, this is, if that is spacious as this room. There are also a lot of sockets in the room, and I like that. However... I really just do not like the part of the complimentary upgrade. What am I going to do with a kitchen if I do not have the cooking unit in cells? Are we going back to Stone Age? Anyway, also the room is clean, but there are parts that are missed, like what I've mentioned. Um, the pillow pillowcases, the sheets are quite stained, and the internet connection is very slow. Here's a screenshot of the speed test. So, also, the room's lighting is quite dim for me on my preference. I think it needs more light. And for that, I'm going to give this room a score of 4 out of 10. Finally, I can say that the hotel as a whole has this modern artistic vibe because they were able to live up to their claim that it is Italian inspired. They even took that small detail as part of it because even the music is consistent. It adds a good ambiance and vibe to the hotel. However, there are still parts that can be improved because it's quite lacking. For example, you wouldn't know if there's a laundry service in the hotel because there are no sheets or paper that will let you know. There are even not any laundry bags that you would see. Also, for the room upgrade that is complimentary for the superior room, which is quite ridiculous because how? what are you going to do with a kitchenette if you don't have any cooking utensils, right? I know you got me. And for that, do I think that the hotel is impressive? Well, I would give it a score of 5.5 out of 10 because it's just okay. It's not very impressive, but it's just okay considering the price of around 2,500 pesos per night and it's a last minute reservation for the Executive King room. So I think it's just fair, it's okay, but it's not impressive. That's what I think about Privato Hotel. And if you reach this far, Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have other suggestions or if you have other experiences about this hotel, please comment them below. And you can also follow us on, on my social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Love on Vlog. And see you on my next hotel review. Bye!